tell you right now, I'm guessing 28,000. So if you want to start your count now, go ahead and get it done. At the end of the day, come back and check in with me. Let me know what we're at. All right? Excellent. So we've got our fish food coming in for these sardines. We've got a couple different things that they're going to get. They're going to get fish pellets, which is kind of like a dog kibble. It's got all those fortified vitamins and nutrients, just like you would feed maybe a fish tank at home. We've also got some krill coming down in just a bit. And krill not only feeds the smallest mouths in the ocean, but also one of the largest mouths in the ocean. Does anyone know what that is? Whales, very good. They'll eat a little bit more than our sardines. They'll eat a couple tons a day. But that food is very important out in the wild. Krill is going to be important for all of our mouths. Now these animals are eating in a very different way than the animals we just saw eating. So those other animals are visual predators. They have to see their prey, they have to hunt that prey, and then they have to catch it. So our predators up here are a little bit different. They are filter feeders. So what they're gonna do is swim around, keep their mouths wide open, and then filter out all the water back in the back of their throat. That's gonna be using something that looks almost like a pasta strainer. We call them gill rakers. All the water comes out and all the yummy stuff stays in. So they're just capturing that food to go. Their eyes are going to be focused on something far more important, and that are, that's the hungry animals that are swimming around them. So while they're swimming, they're focused on their friends, because if you are a tiny sardine, your biggest way of defense is going to be staying around 27,999 of your closest friends and hoping that you're the lucky one that doesn't get eaten today. So as you can see right here, as our dolphin fish is cutting through those split ways and they come right back together, and if you're wondering who the leader is of this gang, there is no leader, there is no head sardine. They're all kind of going together, changing directions at a moment's notice, We're ready to split ways for these bigger fish here. And you're gonna see that our fish are very good at staying very close together. They're doing that not only visually, but they've got special sensory organs that can sense slight movements in the water. So when their friend moves, they know exactly where they're going. Now, I've got a challenge for you. We've got a lot of visual 